Once upon a time, a very curious young couple heard of a place full of miracles and decided to explore it. When they finally arrived, they kept asking locals where to rest and sleep, what to eat and drink, what to see and do. Much time passed and it was taken up by asking. The sky is the same everywhere, they thought finally, let's go home. And they went home. Friends came curious to learn what they have been doing for so long. Have they seen the treasures? They have not. But there have been treasures all around, hidden treasures. There is a treasure in a place near you. Don't leave it unattended. Project Sagittarius, implemented within the frameworks of the Southeast Europe program funded by the European Union, aims directly to explore these treasures and let the world know about them. The transnational cooperation unites seven countries for one common vision, to unite social forces and unlock the values of cultural heritage advancing cultural activity in everyday life across the Southeast Europe region with the help of traditional communication tools and modern technologies like mobile applications. This methodology creates a virtual participatory knowledge platform available for everyone. Not only does it enable users to access the once hidden cultural sets, but also helps policy and decision makers to have a wider point of view for further development and planning. The task is enormous. Southeast Europe, being the very birthplace of European culture, has a history of many centuries. Project Sagittarius includes no less than 110 places to be introduced from a new point of view, 12 of which are located in Hungary. The major problem of cultural heritage assets is that while major frame resources are facing decay, pollution and overuse, peripheral ones remain unrecognized. However, these assets also represent unique values. In fact, they could be the key to the development of less advanced areas in the project region. All activities included in the project are in close connection with each other to create new and innovative solutions available for all partners and members of the open collaborative network of the project in the certainty to make Southeast Europe a better place to live, work and create. God was in a good mood when he created this land, goes the old saying about Hungary. Indeed, the country has countless treasures, no matter what you are looking for. Wherever you go, whatever you do, in this small country of the Carpathian Basin, you will find a treasure in every corner. Take a walk on the endless plains of Hortobágy or a boat trip on the romantic waves of Lake Tisza. Enjoy the healing waters of the Egerszalok thermal wells, wander on the charming slopes of the vineyards in Tokaj, the beauty of nature will find you anywhere. Centuries may come and go, but Hungary stands still. From the Roman ages, throughout the periods of the Ottoman invasion until the wars of the 20th century, every castle, fort, every city and church has its own story to tell. Wherever you go, history is waiting for you to explore. Water and wine go hand in hand in Hungary. No matter where you are, you can surely have your choice. Even the ancient Romans indulged themselves in the hot springs, just as did the Turks in their famous baths. Today, countless places like the spa of Egerszalók await the weary travelers. What water cannot heal, wine surely can. May it be red wine as thick as bull's blood from Eger or Tokai Asu, the sweet delicacy of kings. From early Christianity in the Roman times up until the modern ages, when some of the most spectacular churches were built, the people of Hungary could always find comfort in their faith in times of despair, like the Vodiv Church of Szeged after the Great Flood, or the Great Reformed Church in Debrecen after many fires. Prayers united this nation, even in the hardest times. The highest peak of the country, the first Bible written in Hungarian, the oldest train track, all these treasures are found in the Eger Tokaj region. The most beautiful horse track and the largest cave system of Europe are also located here. From hidden mountain villages, 
to the spectacular stream of the Tisza River, there are countless places worth a visit. Lake Tisza is a real water wilderness. Its silky water, romantic bays, its backwaters and islands, rich in rare birds, all await the curious traveler. Lovers of history will also find what they are looking for. The fortress of Eger commemorates one of the greatest victories in Hungary's history, while many houses of Eger safeguards the ancient culture of the once so dreaded Ottoman army. The city is now famous for its vivid cultural life. It has also served as a bishopric for more than a millennium. In Eger Salok, the healing waters of the thermal spa by the amazing salt hills offer relaxation. Only a couple of kilometers from here, cave dwellings show how our ancestors lived in harmony with nature. The woodlands of the Matra and Buk mountains still have some hidden places never touched by humankind. The beauty of the forest is admired by many tourists who are attracted by the romantic hiking trails too. On the eastern side of the Mato Mountains, a lone volcanic hilltop stretches up to the sky, Várhil, with the remaining walls from the fortress of Shirok reaches a height of 296 meters. The history of Shirok fortress dates back to the Avar times, but it served also as an important defense fortress in the Arpad era and in the Ottoman times. The fortress of Kishnana was built in the 15th century, and not more than a century later, it was known as the infamous home of rascals. The fortress was later abandoned by the outlaws, and its bricks were held by local people to build their houses. The hunting museum in Grasharkovich mansion in the heart of Hatwan is home to the most spectacular hunting collection in the whole Carpathian Basin. The area of Gyöngyös has been populated from prehistoric times. The city fell victim to fire many times. The city of Gyöngyös, born again from the ashes like the bird of Phoenix, is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Hungary. The city is full of monument buildings, representing all significant architecture styles and periods. One of the most famous monuments is the church and monastery of the Franciscan Order. The place gives home to the only ecclesiastical library that has been open since the Middle Ages. Among its 16,000 volumes, more than 200 are unique incunables. The popular Matthew Museum can be found in Orci Mansion. The new pavilion in the park gives place to the Museum of Natural Sciences. The zoo of Gyöngyös offers a real adventure for children. The romantic track of the narrow gauge train starts from the building of the Mato Museum and takes its passengers to Mato Füred or Lajos Háza. With the newly refurbished Nostalgia steam engine, the trip can be even more memorable. It is definitely worth taking off the train and spend some time at the wine cellars of Varkasmáj. Mato Füred is one of the most important starting points of the many hiking tracks in the Mato Mountains. Within walking distance from the village, we can easily reach romantic fortress ruins, watchtowers and crystal clear walls in the middle of the forest. Starting towards Mátraháza from Mátrafüred, we can reach Sástó, one of the highest located lakes of Hungary. After rowing a boat on the waves, we can visit the watchtower nearby, offering a spectacular panorama of the Mátra mountain range. The Adrenaline Adventure Park awaits its visitors in the former craze of Sástó. The all-year-round bobsled track and other activities offer a real challenge for the lovers of adrenaline. The highest peak of Hungary is Kékestető. The 1014-meter high summit is equally popular among hikers, bikers and those who just want to enjoy the fresh air in the beauty of the nature. In wintertime, the mountain peak is a real paradise for winter sports fans. The city of Gyöngyös once enjoyed the same privileges as Buda, the capital of Hungary. These rights were granted to the town by Charles of Anjou, whose generosity was never forgotten. In return for what he did for the town, the college that was established more than half a century ago took up his name so that Károly Robert College, the Hungarian name of the great king, would commemorate the gratitude of the citizens of the town. The college is also known as the Knowledge Center of the North Hungarian region, focusing equally on finest quality education services, economic and social development, and always follows the latest demands of the ever-changing labor market. Students can study in four institutions of the college. 
Adult education also plays an important role in Carol Robert College's activities. The adult education services of the college are carried out by the Center for Adult Education and Services that offers general and specific trainings for students and teachers. Students of the center come not only from the institution, but all citizens of the region are welcome here. Studying counseling, accredited exams, tailor-made training sessions are all part of the services of the center. Special attention is given to the most skilled and motivated students at Károly Robert College. The institution supports and fosters young talents to find their way to national and international academic and professional circles. Practical educational services are the focal point of Károly Robert College's training methods. The institution offers an outstanding network of national and international network, both in the fields of academic circles and in the business sector. The state-of-the-art facilities of the college also support the highest quality practical teaching. Károly Robert College, the knowledge center of the North Hungarian region, contributes to the development of competitiveness in the whole area and is able to answer all the socio-economic challenges of our modern world. The Institution of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences was established in 2012 by merging former institutions operating in the field of agricultural education. The institution offers studies at all levels, including bachelor and master degrees. Besides educational services, research and other scientific activities are also handled with priority and have nationwide acknowledgement. The 100 hectare energy tree plantation, the 1 megawatt capacity biomass power plant connected with a 2,000 square meter for house represent a unique and state-of-the-art research background, its effectiveness proven by several standards and inventions registered by Károly Robert College. Herb collection has hundreds of years tradition in the northern part of Hungary. During the more than 50 years of Károly Robert College's history, studies related to herbs have always been part of the curriculum. Viticulture and oniology has been part of the curriculum at Károly Robert College ever since its establishment more than half a century ago. The highest standard of education is ensured by the 60 hectare vineyard of the college located in the research center of viticulture and oniology in Eger and at the Tashpusta training center. Future winemakers can learn to produce the best quality red and white wines with the most up-to-date technologies in the 7,000 hectolitre capacity winemaking centre. Students of regional development learn how to manage different environmental resources in order to contribute to the development of less favoured regions. The Institution of Tourism, Regional Development and Foreign Languages trains professionals for the most dynamically developing sectors of the economy. The mission of the institution is to offer up-to-date and competitive knowledge to its students, contributing to their personal success and the development of the whole region. To achieve this goal, theoretical education is complemented with practical knowledge gained in real workplaces and in real jobs. The newly refurbished three-star superior Hotel Opal in the center of Gyöngyös not only serves as a popular business and wellness place, but also as a place for placements of students of the institution, such as the college restaurant, the event organizing office and the sports center, all owned by Károly Robert College. PhD teachers of the institution offer classes both in Hungarian and English language serving the demands of the many international students who come to study to Gyöngyös. Applicants of the institution can choose from a wide range of studies, tourism management, tourism and catering, gastronomy management and management of natural and cultural heritage are all part of the curriculum. The number of EU-funded projects is also noteworthy, not only at institutional, but at national level too. Among the many transnational projects, one of the most important is Project Sagittarius, that aims to advance cultural consumption, which is a knowledge-based activity by utilizing cultural heritage potential. The collection of Gyöngyös is special because it is the second richest ecclesiastical collection in Hungary and because of the adventurous history of its treasures. During the Second World War, three members of the congregation decided to hide the valuable pieces from the enemy. They buried the treasures and pledged that they would not tell their whereabouts until the Soviet troops had left Hungary. 
As the Soviet troops stayed longer than expected, the parish priest feared that the secret of the three men would be buried with them after their deaths. It was only after long persuasion that the last living witness agreed to speak up. So it happened that in 1967 the hidden treasures were found beneath the ground. The 43 goldsmith's works represent considerable value, both in their number and their age. The oldest piece comes from 1507. The 15th and 16th century goblets with specific Hungarian filigree decoration from Upper Hungary are considered unique and special. There are 14 of them in the world, out of which seven are kept in the church treasury of Gyöngyös. The treasures were stored in different warehouses from 1967 and have been exhibited in the House of the Holy Crown since 1990. The house, built in 1784, became important during the Napoleonic Wars when the Hungarian crown was guarded here many times between 1806 and 1809, earning the house its name. In the morning on the 20th of August 2012, the people of Gyöngyös were preparing to take part in the traditional morning mass in St. Bartholomew's Church. Surprisingly, they could see police cars in front of the building. The previous night, five priceless treasures were stolen from the gallery of thousands of euros worth. More than a year later, on the 20th of October 2013, the story came to an unexpected turn. During a traffic check 20 kilometers far from Gyöngyös, the stolen treasures were found in the boot of a car. Unfortunately, the five objects were badly damaged by the thieves, but will be restored soon. The basilica is the only classicistic building in Agar and also the second largest Roman Catholic church in Hungary. The construction work was started in February 1831 and finished in May 1836. The building of the cathedral took only five years, but the completion of the interior lasted for an additional 120 years. It was only in the 1950s when all the work on the basilica was done. Hungary's first king, St. Stephen, established one of the ten bishoprics in Eger. The first cathedral in Eger was founded in 1004 and was located on Castle Hill, where the fortress of Eger stands today. Many believe that Hungary's first king was watching the construction of Eger's cathedral from a hill, which later became known as King's Seat. The church was demolished by the Tartars and then it was rebuilt in the 13th century. In the 14th century, the cathedral was expanded in Gothic style. Then they started to build a new giant three-nave cathedral in the 15th century, but only its eastern part was completed. If they had built all the parts, it could have been one of Europe's biggest and most splendid churches. Before the Turkish siege, Dobo István, the captain of Eger Fortress, took stones from the half-completed new cathedral and incorporated them into the defensive wall. After the Turks finally managed to take over the city, it served as a mosque from 1596 until 1687, when it was retaken by the Christians. Janos László Pirker was appointed as Archbishop of Eger in 1827. He wanted Eger to have a proper cathedral. Upon his arrival, he was unsatisfied with the former one, stating the Archbishop Church of Eger is hardly different from any church in an ordinary village. In 1831, the construction work of the basilica started according to the plans of Joseph Hild. He invited Marco Casagrande from Italy, who made the statues alongside the stairs of the cathedral. The most characteristic features of the plains of Fortabad are the typical Hungarian grey cattle and herdsmen taking care of them. Because of the harsh winters, hot summers, the arid weather and the lack of forage, only the toughest and most durable animals were to be kept on the plains, the grey cattle. The local people used all parts of these animals. Besides eating the meat, the herdsman made glue from its bones, its fat was used for candles. The skin was used for various purposes, and not even the horns went to waste. They were used as material for musical instruments, buttons, boxes and decorations. The iconic meal of Hungarian cuisine also used grey cattle as a base material. The world-famous goulash received its name after the Hungarian word for herd, guya. 
In the 1830s, Hungary suffered from the Austrian oppression. The poor people living on the farms of the Great Plain were often disturbed by gendarmes and tax collectors. The tension between the authorities and the people came to a climax, hence were born the legends of the rascals, the outlaws of that time. Sándor Rózsa was the most infamous among them. Although he lived south from here, even Hortobágy has its own legend about him. The Great Plain is divided by a smaller river with a monumental bridge with nine holes. The famous Nine Hole Bridge is a symbol of the whole Hortobágy with a romantic tale of origin. Once upon a time, Sándor Rózsa, the infamous rascal, was drinking in a Hortobágy pub. As soon as the gendarmes heard the news that he was around, they gathered and set out to arrest him immediately. But the rascal got on his horse and ran away. He wanted to cross the river of Hortobágy, but the water was high and there was no bridge over the stream. His fate seemed to be sealed, but then along came nine of his lovers, the women ran into the river, and his horse could cross by stepping on their backs, and he managed to escape. Lake Tisza, which is situated in the eastern part of Hungary, is the second largest lake in the Carpathian Basin. Visitors are often amazed to hear that this unique paradisiac natural reserve is actually a reservoir which was originally built to solve the irrigation problems in the plain areas. However, the bird reserve in the territory of the lake is now a part of a World Heritage Site in the category of cultural landscape. The small village of Uyler in Svava is situated near Lake Tisza. Although its name is relatively new, the settlement has a history of 750 years. Once the ancestors of its inhabitants lived somewhere else in a village called Tisahalas. That village had been in existence since the time of the Hungarian conquest. Tisahalas supplied the bishopric of Eger with salted and fresh fish. Although it was abandoned many times during the Turkish invasion, the inhabitants always returned. The fate of the village was finally sealed by the flood of the 24th of March 1876. The river regulations being still in infancy caused floods more and more frequently. A plain and deserted area was designated for the inhabitants and they built the new village, Ullerins Fava, there. The great flood demolished the old village completely. That's why the old inhabitants started to call themselves people of Uihalas and called their previous home Ohalas. Today the geographical name still remains, an island of the lake which is under the water almost all year round but can be seen periodically is called Ohalas. The memory of Edenyára di Hartl, the hero of the flood, is still cherished by a memorial in his village Sharud and Ullurinsfava. He was the real hero of the Great Flood who sacrificed his own land by opening an embankment to save people's lives. He also gave them food and clothes and had the embankment built at his own expense to prevent future floods in the villages. These are only some of the less known values of this beautiful country. There are thousands of new experiences, thousands of hidden treasures waiting to be explored in Hungary and in Europe because the story goes on. There will always be curious young couples and new travelers, and this film might be their first compass on their way.